What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Amazon video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something different, something I've never done before. So a couple of days ago, I did a little poll, basically asking you guys, you know, what kind of video would you like to see next? I put four options, of course, and this was yesterday. While I'm filming this, it's the 16th of October, so this is a few days after, or you're seeing this a few days after this is being filmed, but this is pretty much what I asked. And you guys wanted to see a tour of the brand new Amazon A to Z app, or not brand new, but I'll explain in a little bit. But basically, you guys wanted to see what it looks like, what the Amazon employee app looks like, and just wanted me to kind of go into detail on everything about the app and how it looks for employees at Amazon. On. So in today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Now, I've never done something like this before where I've shown not only, of course, myself, but also my phone as well. But we're going to be doing that today and pretty much we're going to be going straight into it. Let's get straight into it. So this is what the Amazon A to Z app looks like on the phone icon. And let me focus that again. I think that should be focused. So this is exactly what the app looks like when you open the app. So I will say this might not look like it for all of you, but I think for a majority of you, like probably 95% of you, this is what the app will look like. And why I say that is because they have updated this app pretty frequently. The layout that it has right now is actually brand new. This just released a couple of weeks ago and some people are only getting it at their location like just now. Like I still see posts on the Amazon subreddit that the app just updated for them. But for the most part, this is how you your app will look. If you're brand new, you're most likely going to see this app right here. But just be aware, they do update the app pretty frequently. So if you're watching this maybe like a year from now, it might not look like this at all anymore. It looked like something different, completely different previously. But yeah, basically, this is what it looks like now as of October 16th, 2021. So what you get when you open it up again is this is the little homepage. All you get right here is news. This is pretty much the news tab. Um, like they'll just have a bunch of news. I don't know why it's making me do that. But yeah, and if you want to click on the news tab and see what's new at Amazon, um, they have stuff like this, like basically what you missed this week. They do these little stories about Amazon employees and their stories of working at Amazon. They have a bunch of news and stuff like this. They have, you know, the $500,000 vaccine giveaway thing. They just all their news at Amazon. Everything new at Amazon that is nationwide will be through this app or through this news tab. Then you go back here and we're back at the main page. Now this one right here, this clock punch thing, this is going to be the most essential thing that you're probably going to use at all during your entire tenure at Amazon. That little clock punch thing is basically, I mean, it's pretty much everything. You use this to clock in. If you Now we do have physical clock in stations at Amazon that you can scan your badge at, but me personally, I never use that. I always use this clock punch feature every single time I use the clock punch feature. It's just so handy. As soon as you get in and you turn past those turnstiles, you go ahead and press clock punch and then it'll bring you to a little thing, a pop-up thing. I'm not going to show you because it'll expose my location, which I don't feel like blurring. Um, and then you just press submit punch and that's pretty much it. That's how you clock in if you want to clock into your phone. Find shifts, if you click on this, it pretty much shows you if there's any voluntary extra time at the moment, which in my location, I do not believe there is. You can go through the dates and see, uh, it's going pretty slow, but you can go through the dates and see, yeah, there's, there's no extra days, but if you ever wanna work an extra day, pick up an extra shift, find shifts is where you can go. You can also request time off here at the main page. If you ever wanna request time off, let's see, for jury duty or you wanna use your PTO or your vacation time, any of that, you can go through here, press that, and then you go ahead and request your time off through here. I'll just do a little bit of example. I'm not gonna actually submit this time real quick, but you would choose a date, you know, let's say I wanted to do it for Wednesday of next week, you would just choose Wednesday. You would go through here and finish these next two tabs. I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna accidentally use some time off. And then the last tab on the main menu is voluntary time off if you wanna click on that. This is um, basically what it sounds like. It's voluntary time off. Now there's no options available for, me, available for me right now, but if there was, it would just pull up a date. Like it would say, let's say I work tomorrow, Sunday, October 17th. Pretty much that tab would come up October 17th, Sunday, and I would click on that and it would say, do you want to accept voluntary time off? Yes, and then you would go to my schedule right here, which I'll pull up this tab now. And then let's just say, theoretically speaking, I worked on Sunday. Okay, so if I did work on Sunday, that would be blue. Now let's say I put some voluntary time off, it would become white. Now I can actually pull this up right now because on October 14th, I did take some voluntary time off. And this is what happens when you take voluntary time off. It shows it right there, 10 hours and 30 minutes of voluntary time off. And it 
basically erases that day and makes it white. But yeah, now we're on the schedule tab. So when you go to the schedule tab, this is pretty much everything that you see. You just see your schedule. It used to be so much more complicated than this. Thankfully, the new update fixed it and now you can actually just see your schedule, which is so much easier. As you can see, they don't they don't schedule out they don't schedule out too too far. Like my schedule only goes up until Christmas Day, and next week it'll probably go until New Year's Day. So yeah, they, I mean this is pretty much the schedule. This is what it looks like. This shows you your date, your details. You know, I, uh, next week on Thursday I work 7 a.m. to 5:30 p.m. 10 hours or 10 and a half hours. I mean it's like that every day. I, I don't really my schedule doesn't change at all. It's pretty consistent, and it will be for you most likely as well. Now. As you can see, that little this is pretty much what everything means. Punches. So these are the days that I clocked in. Um, attention. So this is actually an example that I can show because today I accidentally used a missed. Okay, so if you ever miss a punch, you can go ahead and press miss a punch, and you can choose whichever day you missed it, and then you can put the correct time. So if, just by the way, if you ever forget to clock in, go to miss a punch and enter your time there. Now. Today I accidentally entered a time, so I did clock in from 7.30 to 10.03 and then I clocked out from 10.03 to 10.33. For whatever reason, when I got off of work, I clocked out at 10.26. I meant to clock in at 5.26 as I did here, but I accidentally clocked in at 10.26. So that's why there's this little red arrow when you go to my schedule, there's this little red thing and that's because I accidentally did something I wasn't supposed to do and I'm gonna have to call them tomorrow. If they don't manually fix this, I'm gonna have to call them tomorrow. So if you ever see something like this, it's either because you missed an entire day of work, which is fine, or you're like me and you accidentally clocked in at the wrong time, I'm gonna have to call the ERC tomorrow and basically tell them what happened. But yeah, and then these are all the days that I haven't worked. So blue, I work. White, you're not scheduled. Red, there's something wrong with that day or maybe you just missed the day. And that's pretty much what that looks like. But yeah, that's pretty much the My Schedule tab. Hope I'm explaining this fine to you guys. Now we're gonna go to the time. The time is pretty much where you can see, the first thing they're gonna show is COVID-19 time off. So if you ever have COVID and you need to request some time off, go ahead and go to the time section and click that. And here at the time section, you can also request time off, view your time off history. So if you wanna calculate how much time off you've taken and within the year, you can go ahead and click on that. And then this is all the time off I have right now. I currently have 21 hours of PTO, 44 hours of UPT, and then, oh yeah, you can also scroll like this. I don't know if Android can do it, but iPhone does. Um, and then Amazon vacation, blah, blah, blah. Uh, th there's also the stuff that you saw at the, at the front screen, the voluntary extra time and VTO is also here. And then disability and leave services. If you need to take a leave for whatever reason that may be, you can go ahead and click on that as well. That's pretty much the time section. It just shows uh, what time you have to take off blah, blah, blah. And then find shifts and transfer opportunities. So find shifts is basically the extra voluntary extra time that was up here in the find shift section. It's also in the schedule section. So it's there twice, but the transfer op opportunity. So if you're ever looking to change positions or transfer to a different facility, this is exactly where you want to go. You want to go here. And if you want to change, let's say location, let's say you want to change it to I don't know. Let's say you want to move across the country and I'm just going to click on GSO one. I don't know where that's at, but uh, you can go here and this is what exactly what it'll look like. I'm thankful that I clicked on one that actually works because most locations don't work during peak season, but you can go ahead and choose, you know, you want to do just day shifts only. You want to do flex shifts, maybe full time night shifts. I'm going to do day shifts and see if they have any available. Okay. So they do, uh, you could choose your shift pattern, you know, Monday, Tuesday, this is exactly where you would choose your shift pattern. It basically as if you're filling out a whole new application and then you could choose uh, your department and process path. So basically you kind of like, like your position. But for now, I'm going to leave this here. If you ever wanted to switch position, you could check or location. You could just check vacancies, um, 4.30 a.m. Um, this is a 10 hour full time shift, Sunday to Wednesday. And then your overtime day would be Thursday. So if you were looking at choosing a new location, that's all the details you would need. The overtime day is the day that you, if we ever have MET, that's the day that it would be. Um, you could choose, you can click on that and choose vacancy. So if you ever needed to change your locations, or maybe even if you just wanted to choose your own location and choose a different position or a different or a different shift at that location, you can go ahead and also do it that way. So if you ever want to change your position or change your location entirely, you always go to transfer opportunities and click here and see what's there. Now during peak season, for the most part, nothing is going to be available. Let's see if anything's available. Something's available here too as well. That's pretty crazy. But at my location, we are not open for transfers. It'll even say right now, there, as is common during peak season at Amazon, not all sites are accepting transfer this time. Only sites accepting transfers will be displayed under locations. So that's pretty much it. 
During peak season, we most of the time do not uh, accept transfer opportunities. But if you ever need to transfer, go to transfer opportunities. That's pretty much it. And that's pretty much the whole entire schedule tab. Hope you guys, hope I explained that well as well. And then of course we have the pay tab. Now at the pay tab, I'm not gonna reveal my pay, but if you just click show your base pay, it'll show how much you make hourly. It'll show when your next payday is. Learn about the pay calendar if you wanna learn about the pay calendar. If you want to click, if you want to even go further into detail and see like every every single detail about your check, you know, your net pay, your gross pay, how many hours you worked, all of that for even previous weeks or previous months, go ahead and click on view pay details. Everything is done within ADP. Um, if you go down here, you can also see, you know, how many hours you've worked this week throughout this check and um, it'll see, it'll also show you how much time you've taken off this period. I, I didn't use any of my time off this period. I'm saving it all for peak season and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is pretty much the pay period. Everything, all of your pay related stuff will be here. If you wanna go into super detail about how much you made per check and all that good stuff, it will be right here in the ADP app. On this pay section, go to the view pay details. It'll bring you somewhere else. You have to log in again, and then you can go ahead and see your pay there. If you wanna see how much you make per hour, you can also go there, and that's pretty much it. Now let's go to this more tab. This more tab right here will show you pretty much you. It'll show you your your little profile picture. I'm gonna blur mine out just for a safety issue. I'm gonna blur pretty much everything out right here, but what I'm looking at is where I work, what tier of an associate I am, my name, my locate, or my, profile picture all that stuff and i can go ahead and see tools and resources here as well if you want to do like a leave of absence or anything like that or you want to check out your benefits or just pretty much all resources let's go ahead and click on all resources just so i can show you what's there i spit on my screen that was disgusting but um yeah here you can go ahead and uh, report your covid vaccine uh you can look at your pay your leave options all this stuff is here all of your benefits and employee services, pretty much everything that you would expect to find is here. You can go ahead and see your stock, your 401k, all that stuff is here, man. There's a lot of stuff in the resources section. So if you can't find anything within three and within these three sections, tools and resources might be the spot for you. You can also do uh, help and support. This is frequently asked questions, which is pretty much always useless in all, in all websites or whatever. Amazon connections, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I'm gonna click on that real quick. Okay, so it just brought me to log in. I'm not gonna go through with that. But what I think that was is uh, surveys and stuff if you wanna fill out surveys. HR chatbot, so if you ever have any questions, please don't make me log in. I think it's gonna make me log in. I do not feel like logging in right now, but basically what HR chatbot is, if you have any questions or just any general uh, things that you need answered, go to HR chatbot. Uh, I'll be completely honest, they're very, very useless, HR chatbot. It's it's an automated robot that you text and it's pretty much like super, super useless if I'm being completely honest. I never use it, it sucks really bad, but if you have a very, very, very basic question, you can go ahead and ask the HR chat, but it might be able to help, I don't know. It's, it's pointless for the most part though. And then if you ever need to call ERC, which is the Emergency Resource Center, you will need to call these guys for a lot of different things. I will need to call them tomorrow because I do have to call them about that clock punch error that I had but if you ever need to call if you ever have any serious issue that you need to resolve immediately maybe they got your pay wrong maybe your pay just anything like I, there's a little any, anything important everything like super important you either need to go talk to HR or call the ERC if you're not at work ERC number might be different at your location go ahead and find that out in your own app I will blur that out here as, as well just in case I need to but the ERC is pretty much the main person that you call for pretty much anything that you need like serious help with. There's also the career and training tab right there for any of these other stuff, you know, job finder, career choice, uh, Knet, which is like the, the little training videos you did at the beginning of your hire. And then there's the settings. If you wanna change your language, change your notification settings, you can go ahead and have this app text you if you want to. I have that on just in case voluntary time off drops. You know, all that good stuff. If you wanna sign out, you can go ahead and do that. But yeah, let's go to my profile and job details and I'll, I'm probably gonna have to blur a lot of this stuff out, so sorry about that. But pretty much gonna show you guys what's through here. So at the top, you guys can't see, but it's my profile picture, FC Associate, which tier I am, blah, blah, blah. It also shows my Amazon discount code right here. Everyone gets $100 off of Amazon products sold and shipped by Amazon, $100 of that per year. As you can see right here, I've used $25 so I have $75.01 remaining. Now let's go down to personal information. It's probably easier for me if I just cover this stuff, but this will pretty much show all of this stuff right here. You know, your disability status, 
marital status, preferred name, legal name, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. It'll show you your home address, your email address, all this stuff. It's probably a lot easier that I'm just doing it this way. But yeah, this is pretty much all of your information for work. And then I'm gonna have to blur a lot of this out for sure. And there's not really a way to hide it, but this is your job details. If you don't know who your manager is or anything like that, it'll show your supervisor right here. It'll show which location you're at. It'll show your employee ID. If you ever need to pull up your employee ID, that'll be right here. I've never ever had to pull this employee ID up. So you might you probably won't need to use that, but yeah, this pretty much shows you, you know, your leadership team, your supervisor, all of that stuff. It shows you your login. It also shows your login, your business title, job title, your uh, what tier you are, your hire date, your most recent date of hire, your department and your shift pattern. So if you're ever looking at the mandatory extra time paper and you might be wondering what your shift pattern is because those shift patterns are super confusing on that paper. You can go ahead and go to here to the profile tab and it'll show your mandatory extra time right there. Just as an example, mine is DB10700 USFC Wednesday to Saturday, 10 hours starting at 7 a.m. So DB10700 is my shift pattern. So if you ever get a mandatory extra time paper and you're wondering what your shift pattern is, just go to here go to that more tab and go to my profile details. But I mean, that's pretty much it. Also notifications, notifications is very important too, but right now there's not that many notifications. Like, like right now they have some vaccination appointments at my location, they're doing that. If you have any household members, blah, blah, blah. If you wanna get vaccinated, you go to, uh, you can go ahead and check out the information here. For the most part though, it's just this important operations update stuff. Like this is the notification that I get almost every single day. And what it's basically showing is people got COVID at my site. Um, several several people get COVID at my site every single day and this is pretty much what this is as you can see we get this every day um, you once you start working here you're gonna be getting this a lot too in this notifications tab and if you turn on your text notifications you'll be getting the text notifications as well every single day this notification tab is pretty important but for the most part it just shows COVID stuff I would still leave your notifications on but a lot like every single day you're gonna be getting this important information about your site every single day you're going to be getting that notification it's basically just saying hey somebody at your site got covid trust me every single day this happens but yeah that was the app if you have any more questions about the app go ahead and comment down below and let me know in further detail which questions you have i hope that i explained that video i hope i did it well that was my first time doing something like that where i just kind of showed you guys what the app looked like it's pretty simple the app does change its interface a lot not too too often but over the past couple of months it's changed several times but this one i think is here to stay for quite some time it's brand new i had to get used to it some of you guys may not be used to it if you've been working here for a while you might not even be used to it but that was it that's the tour of the new amazon app if you're confused on what's where i hope i was able to help you guys and if you're not even at amazon yet and you just wanted to see what it looked like well that's what it looked like and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like and subscribe down below and let me know what other kind of content you guys want to see it was really nice and cool to be able to put up a poll in my new community tab i'm so grateful to have a community tab now and just be able to make the content that you guys for sure want to see but yeah, let me know what else you guys want to see. Comment down below if you have any other video ideas. With that being said, I'm going to end that there, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And again, thank you for 1,000 subscribers. It means so much to me. You guys are the best. This is one of the most positive and greatest communities I've created and on YouTube, on this platform. And I'm so grateful for you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. I love you all. Peace.